Hi, this is Tim. In our previous video, we talked about how to connect an RTD temperature sensor to a Compact Logics Universal Input. And we were able to use a heat gun to heat it up and show that it was working. But sometimes we need a little more precise simulation. So in this video, we're going to replace our RTD sensor with the PLC Tools Sim TRT RTD simulator. And this can actually do a two-wire device, a three-wire device, or a four-wire device. Because just like we learned in the previous video, you have your basic two-wire device, which is going to be across the resistance. And then if you have a three-wire, it's actually two wires doubled up on one side. And if you have a four-wire, then it's just two wires doubled up on the other side. So in this case, we have a three-wire sensor. And I'm going to take the two red wires and I'm going to replace them with a wire underneath our comm terminal. And then our clear wire, what we replace it with, we can move to the different terminals to simulate 32 degrees, 100 degrees, 250 degrees, 500 degrees, and 1000 degrees. So now where the two red wires are going, I've got both of those underneath our comm terminal. And then where the clear wire was, I have a wire connected that we'll be able to touch to the various terminals. And then if we go online with our program from our previous video, which let's recap really quick what we have here, is we have a 1769L27ERMQBFC1B. And the analog I.O. here has universal inputs. If we go to the input configuration, then you can actually configure these for a large variety of inputs. But in this case, we're using a 100 ohm PT385. And if we go into our controller tags, right now, the wire is in my hand, so it drives it up to 15620 when there is an open wire. And you can configure that differently. If I touch it to the 32F terminal, and we're reading right at 32.2. And I can go to the 100 degree terminal. Yeah, we're showing 100.2 degrees. If I go to the 250 degree terminal, then yeah, we're right at 250.1, 500 degrees, 500.2 degrees, and finally 1,000 degrees. And that's right at 1,000 degrees. So this is a way to really easily simulate specific temperatures. And this is what we're gonna use in upcoming videos to talk about how to do some basic logic to turn on some heating or turn on some cooling. So I'll put a link to the PLC Tools Sim TRT down in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.